<laughs> oh, hello, folks. Uh, what's going on? Um, I just got done watching Jesus Freak's video. Uh, something about the dishonest atheist. Ooh. Um, apparently, he's upset at me because I used like a five-second clip from his um, one of his videos and stuff. He, um, let me tell you a little bit about my buddy Jesus Freak, and I call him Buddy because I actually like him, even though um, I know deep down inside, deep, deep within his little Christian body, he likes me as well and stuff, but he just has this an animosity and stuff. First time me and Jesus Freak met was uh, basically through YouTube, of course. I made a video asking people, it was called the Christian Challenge, I said, how many <laughs> how many Christians out there, if God were to speak directly to you and go into a city and kill every man, woman, and child, would you do it? Jesus Freak, a while back, whenever I first started and stuff, Jesus Freak wasn't super widely known on YouTube until he made this video to me stating that he would, if God told him to, to kill every man, woman, and child in whatever particular city that might be. When he did that, a lot of people, including some reasonably functional religious folks out there, thought, God damn, this guy's fucking nuts. He says that he'll basically, you know, kill men, women, and children if he does that. When he did that, a lot of atheists, a lot of religious folks, they basically just freaked out. They were like, wow, holy shit. But to be fair, Jesus Freak wasn't the only fucking... Um, weirdo that came up with this concept that if God spoke to him or her, they would do the same damn thing. There's a lot of Christians that do that. Jesus Freak was one of the ones who actually had the gall, or the balls maybe, even the courage to state that he would do something like that, if told by God. So that's how we first met. And uh, since then, um, he's come into my chat rooms and stuff, and I've come into his, and we've kind of thrown jokes back and forth at each other, and we've had a good old time. I even had him added as a friend on my front channel for the longest time, ladies and gentlemen. I got this section on the front of my channel where people that I respect, people that I like some of the stuff that they say, I like the way they are as a person. I may not, I may not agree with some people's videos, but if I find that they're a person with a decent heart and you know, some shit to say, I'll add them to my friends section, if I think that there's some kind of bond or closeness or whatever, which I, I felt like me and Jesus Freak had, I'll give you that. Did he ever add me on the front of his goddamn YouTube board? No, and it wasn't expected to, even though we were friendly to each other and we did our little deal and shit like that, I didn't expect him to ever, you know, show any kind of... I guess, respect towards my end or whatsoever, because as he's always said, well, you're an atheist, Brett. I can't stand your videos. Your videos are stupid. They're dumb, and you're going to end up burning in hell. All right, fair enough. I guess I don't take it personal like some people do whenever they're told that they're going to go to hell. I'm used to it. I was a Christian for several several years myself, so I know that some Christians, whenever they say that, they say that because they actually do care and they don't want you to burn in this mystical imaginary place that um, they have basically been told all their life from child all the way up or later on in their life whenever they were weak-minded and targeted by religion. So I'm used to it. I put up with a lot of jokes from you, Jesus Freak. You sat in my room with uh, my viewers and my friends, and you've cracked jokes, and you've tried to belittle me. You've tried to make me look like an asshole and stuff like that. And I've told you over and over, um, I'm not an asshole. That's Mr. Asshole to you. Cracking a joke, of course. <sighs> Jesus Freak, I don't know, man. Are, are we fucking serious? Are you really going to uh, basically drop bombs on me over a Christmas list? When I had my little Christmas list thing up and shit where I was telling people this is what I like, this is what I'm interested in, I noticed one of the biggest things you bitched about is, oh, geez, he wants a new computer, and it's an expensive one. 
what what the fuck do you think someone if they have a christmas list you're not going to sit there and say well you know santa claus he uh he may not get me the goddamn expensive one maybe he'll get me a hullard packard that'll blow up in two fucking months well being that i'm a fond of computers i'm going to pick one that i think will last and i think sony vio or vio or however it's pronounced or dell is a fine ass computer that works anytime i've ever had a dell they work good why the fuck would I put some cheesy-ass piece of garbage that would blow up in a matter of fucking months? You know, like Gateway. Ugh. You ever had a Gateway computer, folks? You know, the one with all the cow fucking symbols all over it and shit? All the cow splatter? Those computers are absolutely shit. I don't know. And nowadays, like, let's say, for instance, you had a Christmas list and you said to yourself, you know what, I could use a new cell phone or something like that. You wouldn't want people to get you a cell phone that doesn't have good fucking reception. You'd want Bluetooth, right? Sure, it might be a little bit more expensive than a normal cell phone, but you're not going to want a fucking crappy-ass one that goes out, disconnects on your hangs up and shit, especially for some of you jokers out there who like to fap. Well fucker disconnects on you it's gonna piss you off right not saying i know anything about that kind of shit goddamn weirdos <sighs> well jesus freak i thought you'd think it was funny i was joking on you we pull on each other all the time in chat and everything and now you're trying to make me look like i'm some asshole because i used five seconds of a video in order to get people to crack up including yourself that's that's fine I guess you're all wound up as well. Maybe you're not thinking straight. Maybe you're upset because you don't think you're going to be having too good of a goddamn Christmas either. I mean, it's got to be rough, you know. Here comes the holidays and shit. Nobody around to fucking share it with. I can understand how that could be aggravating. But I can assure you this, as a buddy, as a pal, if you're looking for somebody to spend Christmas with, the pagan holidays that have nothing to do with Jesus... <sighs> I'm here for you, pal. I'll be opening up the goddamn chat room here probably in a little while and shit. See what's going on with folks. Peace. Oh, by the way, whether you're Christian, Muslim, agnostic, deist, atheist, and all that, all month round I'm going to be mirroring people's videos, but you have to give me permission and you have to share it in my inbox. Peace out. Happy Pagan Holidays.